what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're entering a zone that i've never <laughs> i've never um done ever is a q and a uh, people has asked me questions in the past and i've answered them of course through the comment section but this is a first of me just at asking you guys to do um to, to shoot questions at me um and i'll answer them in a video i.e this q a video right anyways um so i'm just gonna jump right into it just gonna jump right into it i got about i don't know how many but it seems like about 12 questions um that i got um so if you didn't get a chance to be a part of this don't worry when we get to 5k, I'm going to do another one. Okay. So your questions can be answered. Then I took screenshots of all, of all the, the questions. I'm going to have them pop up on the screen. Of course, they're not going to be there now. That's going to go in for editing. Um, so, um, we're just going to jump right in, man. And I'll just answer you guys questions and then I'll have, and I'll wrap it up in some way. So first and foremost, let me officially congratulate us the community here at terabyte reacts including myself to get to 4500 subscribers um you know i say this all the time and maybe you guys you know i i'm trying to stay as humble as possible throughout this process because you know as a as a person that's on youtube you know you see all these numbers you see people you see other people getting more subscribers than you you see people that has come on the platform you know a couple months ago has way more subscribers than you and you're wondering you know what is going on i mean i've seen people started watching naruto just this year you know um and they have 20,000 30,000 subscribers i can't react to naruto because i've already watched it so i can't react to naruto and people use naruto to blow up their channels i'm and I, and I see that a lot it's like people can't get enough of naruto it's like they just want to read what they want to see somebody else react to it okay you're done who's next who's far enough along for me to follow along like i've re-watched naruto reactions so many times it's absolutely ridiculous it just kind of like boils down to like right now i'm just watching like hype moments from certain um from certain channels so you know you can fall into that trap you know what i mean of wanting that desire but the thing about it is that i'm trying to stay within the pocket and the lane that i'm trying to create here which is to provide full episodes full reactions for free for you guys i'm gonna try to do that as much as possible um that i can um i know it's one of the reasons why you guys stick with me um because everybody else is letting you guys pay for these full reactions or as they give you i've seen a, and a lot of channels are having problems today they might not be telling you guys but they're having a lot of problems a lot of these channels you've seen them they have three copyright strikes on their channel and all of this other stuff and that's why i'm not going to risk my channel by doing that you get what i'm saying at least i can keep myself a little bit safe um with the google drive and stuff like that and in the future where i'm currently uploading um transferring stuff from the google drive to to somewhere else until that is done then i'll make that available for you guys to be able to go to that place and watch without any restrictions of play um play limit uh you know view limit whatever the situation is so let's jump into these questions um so again congratulations to us this is not without you guys i wouldn't be doing this if you guys didn't say click that sub button i wouldn't be doing this i'm be honest with you guys so that's why this congratulations is to us as a community we got there continue to share the videos continue to like the videos continue to comment on the videos and we will get to where we need to get to uh, and we will keep hitting those milestones 
I believe that we will. Now, let's jump on to these questions. For this first question comes from Sebastian Lara, longtime subscriber, so shout out to you, sir. I just want to ask if you have seen any of this, these anime or series, or if you have seen one of those, you can say what you think about that. Anime, great teacher, Onisuka, I'm going to mess up, so whatever. This anime is, is like those like that give a lot of life, it's obviously, you know, um, English is probably not his first language. Um, Mob Psycho 100, same creator as One Punch Man. Um, Kanosuba, Sakamoto Desuga, Goblin Slayer, Slam Dunk, Fist of the North Star. Um, for TV series, his name's Dr. House, The Office. The US version, I'm guessing. I know there's two versions of the office. Um, also, what happened to Dr. Stone? For real. That is one of the best mangas I've ever read in my life. Okay, so for this question, um, I guess he's asking me what do I think about certain animes? And pretty much every anime that he's named, I've never watched any of them. So, <laughs> so this is this is weird because the only thing on this list that I've watched is Dr. House. I've never seen The Office. I've seen clips from The Office, but I never actually watched the show. So I can't really comment on any of these, you know. Um, so I've never seen any of them, man. Not even one of them. I've never seen Mob Psycho. I've heard good things about it. Um, Onisuka. Um, never heard of Great Teacher Anisuka. Um, I've heard of Konosuba. I've heard of that. Um, I've heard of Goblin Sayer too. I've heard of Slam Dunk. I've heard of Fist of the North Star. I've heard of these anime. I just never watched them. Okay. Um, I don't know how good they are. To answer your question, I've never seen any of those. I didn't know that it's the same person that created One Punch Man that created Mob Psycho. So that's... Um, so that's good to know. So the only thing on this list that I've seen is Dr. House. Okay. It's the only thing. <laughs> that's it. And it, and it's house really, you know, I don't know. I, I mean, it's house MD is the name of the show. Um, but that was years ago that I finished watching house. I don't think I've watched each and every episode. Um, but I've watched it. I saw how it ended. Um, I don't want to talk about it just in case somebody out there watching this video has never seen the show. So I don't want to talk about it. Um, but yeah, The Office, never never seen it. Seen a lot of clips from it. Um, I've seen some of the Dwight clips, but I've never watched the, the like sit down and like, I didn't watch it religiously, like waiting on the next episode. Like it was never like that for me. Next question. Okay, this one come from TRR is that TRR Reem? I think I know you said you got a business. What does it revolve around? Like, what is it a business for? Okay, so my business I have I do a lot of things. Okay, guys, I do a lot of things, but I'm gonna try to put it into to to name them for you guys and you can. Figure, figure it out for yourself. Look it up if you need to. I can't explain every business that I do right now. So, first and foremost, my my main stream of income is trading. I trade. Okay, that's my main source of income. I trade. I trade for Forex. <clears throat> what the hell? <laughs> I trade Forex. I just woke up, guys. I'm doing this. So, um, trying to get this done before I go and read for four hours, okay? So, yeah, so I trade Forex, that's my main source of income. Also, I do business, okay? I own a clothing store, okay? 
I sell clothes, other stuff too. I sell other stuff too. I do that both physically and online. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't advertise that stuff on my channel because you get what I'm trying to say. I don't advertise that stuff on my channel because I don't want you guys to think that I'm just here for money and to as I don't want that. I don't want that. So that's the reason why I don't really talk about what I do like outside really because I don't want you guys to think that I'm growing a fan base to sell them stuff. I don't want no. That's not my aim. You get what I'm saying? Yes, eventually I might do merch for the channel, but that's a big if. It really is. It's a big if. You know what I mean? So so yeah. Physically and online, I do that. Um the stuff that I that those two are my main sources of income. There's other stuff that I'm invested in um, that is yet to be to yet to come to fruition. But I'm working my ass off to retire um, in the next eight years. OK, that's what I'm working towards. I'm working towards a better future for myself, for my significant other, for my kids. I, which I don't have yet. So I'm working towards those things. So, um, so those two are the, those two are the main things that I do. Okay. Um, you know, um, and I'm an uneducated, why? Like I'm, I'm not a, um, what do you call it? Like I'm not, I didn't go to no fancy schools or anything like that. Um, you're talking about somebody who never went to college, or anything like that okay so i'm trying to build myself up to get to those point but i've done pretty well for myself let me just say that i've done pretty well for myself so that answers that okay so let's get to um next question okay so this one comes from van 12 um been on this channel for a long time shout out to you man long time sub here constantly um constantly commenting constantly liking videos i appreciate that so i just have to say that okay so this one comes from van 12 he says hey man hope everything's great a bit weird question but what's your opinion or tips like when you're stuck in life like you know what you need to do but for some reason, you're not moving towards it. I'm a fresh graduate as an international student in CA. I think that's California. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's California. But I'm a bit unsure about what to do next because I still need to worry about getting permanent residency, residency here. So um, great question. Great question, I have to say. Um, people know you... People don't usually ask questions like these over the internet, at least not to me. <laughs> so um, I appreciate that um, because I do mentor people. That's another part. I mentor people for free. I don't charge them. I just mentor them because I've lived a pretty interesting life. So when it comes on to, um, I think you should concentrate on getting your permanent residency first. And that's what I would tell you to do because telling you this coming from somebody who migrated to this country i'm an immigrant okay get your permanent permanent residency in order first if you're here on a um student visa if you're here on a student visa um if you're planning to stay here get your permanent residency in order first before you take any major steps in this country Make sure you have that stuff locked on first. That is my advice to you. You don't have to follow it, but that is my advice. Make sure you have that stuff in order first, because that can prevent you from doing a lot of things in this country. Right? I'm telling you this from experience. Okay? You not having your permanent residency. Yes, you can work for you can work for cash. You know, you can go ahead and file for a work permit in the meantime. As a matter of fact, when you're filing for permanent residency, they're going to, once your thing gets through, um, 
I don't know how to tell you this because it, it's such a long process and you have to wait for so long. So I don't want to, I, I can't tell you in certain aspects, like that's the thing you need to concentrate on. But at the same time, if you have a work permit, like right now, cause you're an international student, maybe you're here on a student visa. I don't know the context cause you didn't really tell me. So I'm just guessing that you have a student visa so that should allow you to work in work in this country. Um, get that part of things sorted out first. Okay. If you feel like you stuck and you just, you just graduated, that's one of the things that you have to get done first. Make sure that's at least in processing. You get what I'm saying? Um, if you, you just graduated and you're stuck, you don't know what to do. A lot of people have this issue where they don't know what steps next to take unless somebody tells them that step to take. Um, especially newly graduated people, you know, you just graduated. Um, well, you're a newly graduate. You need income. Okay. You need income regardless of what it is. Don't try to just, and this is one of the mistakes that I see a lot of, a lot of kids do when they just graduate adults too, right? They graduate and then they're sitting around looking around like they, like they think the world is going to just, you know, hand them success. Doesn't work like that. Take what you can get for a job, regardless of what it is, and keep looking for that job that you need, right? If your goal is to be an entrepreneur, like I'm guessing that you don't have the kind of support system that most American most American kids have in this country. They don't have parents that they can, you know what I'm saying? Like when I came here, I didn't have parents to rely on like that. So that's just me. You get what I'm saying? So I'm guessing maybe you're in the same situation and maybe you migrated here with your parents. I don't know. You get what I'm saying? You telling me that you're an international student is tell is kind of telling me that you don't have that infrastructure that a lot of the kids in America have. You get what I'm saying? So you're here maybe by yourself. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how old you are. So I'm just kind of giving you my advice based on what I think is happening here or the situation that you're in. Um, so, so yeah, get a job. I mean, if you're in California, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't want to speculate to think what the economy is like over there, but I, I don't think it's hard to find jobs when I'm stuck in life. What I like to do is read. I like to read. This is not something that you have to do, but I like to read. I look at motivational stuff, right? I don't want you to fall down that self-help rabbit hole. That is not what I'm telling you to do. They are books out there that can empower you into pushing yourself forward. Get up out of that stupor that you in. You know what I mean? So, um, books that I recommend, books that I recommend to you, think and grow rich. That is my favorite book of all times. Think and grow rich. I know, I know a lot of people is probably going to tell you something different, but that is what I'm going to tell you. Okay. You might not, you don't have to take my advice. It is what it is. I'm just answering your question here for you and try to help you. That is one of the books that when I was feeling very down about myself after my divorce and stuff like that, that really got me back into to really picking myself up and conquering a lot of the fears that I had. You get what I'm saying? Because this book is a very practical book. It's not just a read. It's a very practical book. It gives you homework. You get what I'm saying? So for one, you can do that. So that's my advice to you. Okay. So first and foremost, concentrate, um, try to get your permanent residency in order and also, um, read more. That's what I would tell you. Read more. Um, 
So if you want to pick that book up, hey, man, you know what I mean? Um, it's by Napoleon Hill. Um, I, I think there's another ver version out there which done by somebody else. Um, but pick up Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, okay? Um, it's a very motivational book. It's not, a, it's not a get rich quick scheme or anything like that. It's a very motivational book to get you up out of that stupor or that stuck in life situation. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. I'm spending a lot of time answering these questions because I want you guys to, to understand that I care about the, you know, you guys care about these questions, man, because you guys took time to write these questions out. I'm going to take my time to answer you guys. Okay. So let's get to the next question what this comes from gear thing or gear thing i, I want to say it's a gear thing okay so what got you into anime and manga or were you always into it no i was not always into anime and manga i was not i did not get introduced to this world until um i was into comic books you know superman you know, DC, Marvel comics and stuff like that. I was into that stuff. I knew about th that stuff. Um, I didn't get introduced to anime or manga. I didn't even know about manga. Okay. But I, I knew about anime because I, I got introduced to anime through watching the first um ghost in the shell movie if you guys have never seen that movie the original that's a classic in the anime community ghost in the shell that's what introduced me to anime but i didn't know it was called anime that was the first thing i watched but i didn't know there was a whole complete community of people who like anime even you know two three years coming into this country i did not know that such a thing existed i had watched the ghost in the shell movie um loved it but one day i'm going into my my narrator voice right now one day a friend from a land far away brought me a scene from naruto <laughs> And he was like, look at this scene, bro. Look at this scene. You don't watch Naruto. <laughs> right? So it was like that for me. It was. And I've loved anime ever since. Um, the scene in particular. I've talked about this on the channel before. The scene in particular I'm talking about is a scene. Is the scene where. This was early Naruto, man. In Naruto part one. Where. Um, the f When Naruto transformed the 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 um gamabunta into the nine tail fox the ninth right um epic scene everybody knows what i'm talking about if you've ever watched naruto right um i saw that and i was hooked i was like i gotta watch every episode that came before this every episode that came after that i didn't get into i got into naruto and I caught up, I think at the time when I started watching Naruto, right? They were at, I still needed to catch up, but they were at the, the Sasuke retrieval arc when I started watching Naruto. But that's the first thing I, the first, you know that that was like way back. I mean, it wasn't like way, way back, but by the time I caught up, um, you know, by the time I caught up, part one was done. You get what I'm saying? By the time I caught up, by the time I, I caught up to the anime, part one was done. Pre practically done. And we had to wait until Shippuden came out. And that's when I found out about manga. Because I was like, somebody was like, you don't have to wait to watch Shippuden in anime form. You can just read the manga. Because Shippuden had already started in the manga. So I st that's how I started getting into manga. And reading other mangas. And stuff like that. So that's what got me into anime. 
that is what got me into anime okay so from that day forward this is why you have terabyte reacts okay all right so hope that answers your question yeah i was not always into that stuff okay okay i had to get introduced to it because i didn't know off it right so of course i've watched animated films you know cartoons you know the superhero movies and stuff like that you know animated stuff i've seen those um but then when i got into anime oof, never looked back bro all right next question this comes from jose lang what do you plan on playing to start off the twitch when you make it okay so the twitch i don't know yet <laughs> The Twitch channel is still in the making. I'm still getting everything ready so that it looks professional when I start. Um, you know, this probably not going to be kicking off until probably, you know, f the fall. To be honest, this is not something I'm rushing to get into. Um, so to answer your question, I'll probably do a poll. To decide which game i should do first ask for you guys suggestion on what you would like to see those of you are going who are going to be watching me on twitch what would you like to see me play or rage over um games like dark souls i have not played any of the dark souls i actually bloodborne is the only game from from software um that i've ever played and beat I'll probably have to play Bloodborne again because it's one of my favorite games. Um, probably have to play that again. I hope you guys, I don't remember anything because I played it when it just came out. So I don't remember anything. I don't even remember the story, to be honest. I just know I beat that game and I was it was very satisfying because it's a very hard game. It's a hard game. But, you know, second... You know, second playthroughs are always easier than the first because now you know where to go, you know. But I'll probably do I'll probably do like a a, a run in in Bloodborne that I just kill everything because I'm pretty sure I didn't kill everything in that game for the first run because because there are different paths that you can take to get you know to 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 um to credit roll. You know what I mean? So. So yeah, I have not played any of the Dark Souls, haven't played Demon Souls. I'll probably wait until the PS5 drop to play Demon Soul. Um they didn't give us a date for Demon Soul. Um but I've never played Demon Soul. I know it it came out on PS3. Um but I never played that game. So there's a lot of games I haven't played Demon um not Demon Soul. Um I haven't played Dark Souls 1, 2 or 3 ever played any of them so i probably pick those up if you guys want to see me rage because i do rage at these games that are super hard don't request neo because i've beaten neo too many damn times that game is easy i, I see people rage over that game and i'm like but that game is neo is so is such an easy game if you know how to build your character that's what i should say so let me preface that by saying that okay um it's an easy game because if you know how to build your character, you can build very OP characters in the game. Okay, so JJ, we just gonna call you JJ because I don't know, I don't, I, I cannot pronounce that last part of this. <laughs> okay, but this is also um, one of my favorite um, um, subs to the channel, always. You know always there always posting long comments and um i read them all you know what i'm saying like long comments and i appreciate that i love when people write long comments because that's telling me that you really appreciate what i'm doing um so i always spend the time and read those comments and comment back um so he writes a question what got you into doing youtube now what got me into doing youtube okay i've been watching reactions for probably around i want to say probably around the last five years or so i've been watching reactions on youtube 
and I have to say that it, it really, it really um, put me in a position where, you know, I was watching all these Naruto reactions, you know, and other series that I've watched, One Piece, um, Bleach, and stuff like that. Just watching those reactions of animes that I've watched already, because um, I don't know how people do it, but... If you haven't watched the anime and watch people put up highlights on YouTube, um, I just don't know how people do that. I, I couldn't do that, you know? So basically, um, I just, one day I just said, you know what? I'm going to start a reaction channel and I'm going to try to do it different. And that's what really pushed me to do what I'm doing today. You know what I'm saying? Um, I started out the channel with music. That was the first when when um, Eminem Kamikaze dropped. You know, um, I don't know. I don't remember if that was my first video. I don't remember what I did first. To be honest, I don't remember. I, I know I did. I know I started out the channel with music, right? And it was gaining some traction, especially when when Eminem dropped the Kamikaze album. I started doing that. And then somebody said, hey, you should watch Game of Thrones. And I was like, man, I've always heard about this series. You know, people said it's even better now. I had watched the season. I had watched the, the, the show up until um, season four. Um, but I don't remember it because it was like years before. I think it was 2018 that I watched season four. I wasn't watching the show re religiously, right? I wasn't watching the show religiously. So it was like, I didn't really remember. And I told them, I've watched this up until season four. So I might remember some stuff while watching these four seasons. So anything beyond season four, I don't know. I don't know. And at this point, I think we, I think that we, um, everybody was waiting on season eight to drop. So all seven seasons were already done. So, um, so that's how I got into YouTube. That is how I got into YouTube. Um, I just, I wanted to do it different, you know, and me watching a lot of channels that were like, um, this was the main cause. This was the main cause of me getting into YouTube or doing it, starting this channel. I was watching a lot of reaction channels react and I had to be straining my eyes to see what they're seeing or what part of the show they're watching because they were lowering the opacity so much you could not even see the show. And that's the reason why when I came to start doing this channel, I told you guys that I'll never do that because I had issues with it because I'm like, I don't understand who's on here, like straining their eyes to see this stuff like it's ridiculous. You get what I'm saying? And then they're battling copyright issues and all of this other stuff, but they still, you know what I mean? Like they're not trying to find a way around it. And then the audacity to charge people to watch full reactions on Patreon like that really grind my gears because I was like, if I ever start a YouTube channel and doing reactions, I would never do that. I would never do that. Put this, put this stuff behind a paywall and never release what and and i could never do it on youtube hell no you get what i'm saying like people don't have money like that i don't look at people like the majority of the world is not rich you get what i'm saying yeah they might want to support you but let them support you for support you sake or give them something unique you get what i'm saying don't charge them out the wazoo i saw a patreon the other day that really pissed me off because it's a channel um, that I love watching on YouTube and a Patreon and I'm like, you want me to pay you um, $3 to get the same version that you're uploading on YouTube. So you early, right? Then for $5, you're still not going to give me the full, the full reaction, right? This still a, um, it's still a edited version, but it's a longer edited version for $5. And then for $10, I have to pay $10 a month for the full reaction. 
still with the opacity lowered i mean come on bro like you know what i mean like they're just milking this thing and i think it's really egregious what they're doing i think is it's crazy it's crazy out here it's crazy out here and they ain't got no chill they got no chill because they know people are sucker enough to do to to pay them this kind of money so whatever um but anyways next question so you get what i'm saying guys that's what got me into youtube i saw that stuff and i was like i'm gonna do it different i'm gonna figure out a way um you know mind you it's kind of limited right now but i know you guys are not you know you're, you're not really coming at me a certain way to say um you know you should do this or you should do that or whatever you're good with what i'm doing right now but i'm trying to make it better so that's my promise to you guys okay so this one comes from ah uh, yui or you i don't know how to pronounce that ua i don't know so can you also make a uh, hinamatsuri reaction videos one of the god tier anime series and koe no katachi a silent voice um the studio studio kaioani reaction to um but if you already watched it then it's okay if you didn't make it um have not watched any of those series but i have heard of inamatsuri i've heard of that anime before i haven't watched it um it pops up in my timeline um it, it does pop up in my timeline because you know i'm subscribed to crunchyroll so crunchyroll will post scenes from certain anime sometimes so i've seen hinamatsuri before um as in i've seen a clip from it so i know it's about like martial arts and stuff like that so that would be cool to react to one day um i have not seen the series um i there's a bunch of series that i need to get to but we'll get to them you know so just be patient okay next question do you have this one's comes from this one comes from jose lang again another one from jose lang do you have a favorite moment on the channel whether it's you saying something funny or the way you reacted to something you watched now my favorite moment on this channel i've posted it by itself actually i posted it by itself on the channel as a tbr um i don't remember if it's i don't remember what i called it but it was levi versus levi versus the beast titan in season three episode 19 of attack on titan that was one of the greatest moments for me on the channel because that reaction was just it was just epic every time i see it i'm like what the hell was i doing <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know what i mean i was shaking i was like let's go you know what i mean so it was like yeah so that was one of my favorite moments on the channel um also one of my other ones which have been deleted now so you guys can't even go to, to look at it is my reaction to the red wedding um in game of thrones that was crazy so um another moment that i have to say is my my reaction to um the ending of ippo the ending of the ippo anime it was very emotional it was very emotional for me because i'd never seen ippo before there's a lot of emotional moments in Ashime no Ippo, and that's why it's in my top three anime of all times. You know, it was very emotional for me because I didn't want it to end. And that's the reason why I'm doing the manga. Um, but the anime was just so well done from all three seasons. Was just so well done. Hopefully they bring it back one day. So I would say if it's... I don't know if I've ever had a really funny moment of the some way that i reacted that i was really that i ever laughed at myself um i don't think there's ever been a moment that's just really funny 
I mean, there's things on the channel that you guys find, found really funny. Um, but, you know, probably I didn't find it funny. Like, I did it to be funny. But, you know, it's like comedians can't really laugh. Can't really laugh that much at their own jokes sometimes. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, that's just how it is. But anyways, those are the moments. Levi versus Beast Titan and the Red Wedding. Even though you guys can't look it up because it was deleted. Um, but yeah, next question. Okay. Another one from Jose Lang, Jose Lang. He, he just was like, I need to know everything. Okay. I need to know everything. But anyways, this one comes from Jose Lang again. What's your favorite game that you've played and what's your favorite game that you've only seen? Okay. So my favorite game that I have played is um, God of War, the God of War series. That is my favorite game, bar none, my favorite game um, that I have played. Favorite game that I've only seen, like I've watched somebody play. Um, this is one that I'm gonna have to think about. This is one that I've actually have to think about because there's a lot of games that I've watched first and then played after you get what I'm saying? So one that I've only seen, it's not a lot of games that I've only seen that I didn't play, that I haven't played yet. Let me see. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's a game that I've only seen. I think that, that I would say favorite. I think the only game right now that I've only seen, and that's because I've just refused to play it, and that is The Last of Us Part 2. Um, as I said, I, I would have to think very hard. <laughs> so it wouldn't really make it a favorite. You know. Ah. I would have to say. Dragon. I don't remember that's name. Kakarot. Dragon Ball Kakarot. I would say. I have not played that game. Want to play it. But I, I just don't have the time to play it. Um, so games like, um, yeah, I think that's the only game that, cause, cause the Dragon Ball Z story never gets old. And that's the reason why they keep putting out games about the same exact story over and over again, because it works every, they know that people love the Dragon Ball Z storyline. Um, so they keep profit, profit, profiting off of it, right? They keep doing that because they know you guys love the Dragon Ball Z storyline. Okay, that's all that is. They know people love it, so they're going to keep doing it anyways. All right. So I would say Dragon Ball Kakarot is a game that I wanted to play. But never. I've watched people play it. I've watched them play through it, the story mode. Um, I think there's only a story mode to that to that game, right? So I, I would say that because there's not a lot of games that I've watched that I never played. You get what I'm saying? Um, it's not a lot of game. I watch people play games and then I go play the game. It, as I said, I don't have an issue with. Um, I'm not a when it comes on to video games, I'm not a person that gets too hung up on spoilers. You get what I'm saying? I don't unless it's like really dear to me. You get what I'm saying? Like a series like God of War, you know what I mean? Like I would never watch that before I play it because it's very dear to me. You get what I'm saying? But other games, you know what I'm saying? I was not going to watch the the spoilers about The Last of Us, you know, but I was like, man, you know, with all this ubble boo is going on, I want to know what the hell happened because I do not want to waste money. I'm buying a game and playing it for myself to find out this shit and then can't return it, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. So that's my answer to that. I know you guys would probably want me to be a little bit more concise with my answers, but I'm trying to give you guys as much time as possible. So this one... This question comes in from Lanilla. What was one anime people loved and kept recommending to you that you eventually dropped 
and what was the reason if you have any or maybe you thought about dropping but you didn't okay so um the first part of the question anime people love kept recommended that you eventually dropped i've never dropped anything off from the channel at least not no i've never dropped anything that people recommended to me um i've always finished pretty much everything that i've started on the channel um but anything that i stopped i'm gonna get back to you get what i'm saying um dr stone wasn't necessarily highly recommended um it was more of like me kind of decided to do dr stone because it, it had just dropped and it was catching fire the problem that i had with dr stone which i'm going to get back to which i talked about earlier in this video um i'm going to get back to dr stone but it just started out too slow and that's the reason why i dropped it for the time being so if you want to call me dropping it adapt if you want to call that dropping it then you can call that dropping it okay something that i all right maybe you thought about dropping but you didn't okay so there was a there's there's another one there's one anime that was on this channel that i considered dropping and that was rage of bahamut i'm gonna tell you guys why i considered dropping it it's not that i wasn't enjoying the story it was because it wasn't getting a lot of views so i was figuring that people didn't people didn't really like it but i i love that anime that's the thing about it like i love that anime so that's my answer to that rage of bahamut was one of those animes that i really love but people on the channel weren't really feeling it um but it's a really good anime in my opinion but it is what it is okay so next question i said um this one comes from trivia love okay so another comment already said what i wanted but if you didn't have a my anime list, I wanted to know which animes have you already seen or ones that add an impact on you while watching positive or negative. Um, I do not have an anime list. I know people have put that in the questions. I don't have a list on anime list. I'll probably do that soon. I didn't know that was a thing that people that there was a site out there that you put your favorite animes on or whatever or animes that you've watched. Uh, I have not watched a ton of anime. I've watched the classic big three, Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece. I need to catch up with One Piece. Um, Bleach. Right. Um, there's a ton. There, there's a ton ones that I've watched on the channel hunter hunter death note um, code Geass. Uh, what else have I watched on the channel Hajime no Ippo you know the catalog is there the catalog is there if you do not see it on this channel the only thing outside of what I've watched on this channel the only thing that is outside of it that I've watched but I haven't reacted to is Bleach, Naruto, um, and One Piece up till the dress, until the end of the Dressrosa arc. Okay, so I was just into the big three back in back in the day. Anything else? I'm pretty much a, a baby when it comes on to the amount of animes that I that I've watched. You get what I'm saying? so if you don't see it reacted to on the channel that's the only thing outside of the scope that i've watched and it's the only thing that i can talk about when it comes on to to other stuff and that's why you hear me reference naruto bleach and you know sometimes i'll refer ref, um i'll talk about one piece because those three animes was what i was watching when you know when i got into anime those were the only three because that was the big three that's what everybody talked about. I, I, you know, I've heard about a lot of other anime, but I just never got into it because how much of this stuff can you watch at once? You get what I'm saying? I mean, One Piece is still going on. Bleach ended 
you know, I want to say a good while ago, but it, but I mean, I'm talking about the anime because I think the anime ended and then the thousand year blood, blood arc. Oh, I, I can't even remember what's the name of that damn arc. Um, can't wait for next year for, for them to animate that junk. Um, so, so yeah, so that's how I will answer that question. Now to answer the end part of the question, um, animes that have an impact on me, positive or negative, um, Naruto has had, and that's the reason why Naruto is not when I make list like a top five or a top three, Naruto is not on it because Naruto is very special to me. It's what got me into anime. And it's not just because of that. It's because of the lessons that it taught me over the years of getting myself back up, not giving up, you know, just the life lessons, you know, that was taught in that anime is just very precious to me. You know what I'm saying? People have learned stuff from other animes as I've come to learn a lot of stuff um, from animes like Code Geass, Hunter Hunter, you know what I'm saying? Just life in general, you know what I mean? And to look at that stuff and compare it to, um, and just compare it to what we go through in life today and drawing parallels from it. I've just come to appreciate anime even more since I've started this channel. So, um, so yes, Naruto has had the biggest impact on me. Um, I don't think there's another anime that makes me cry more than Naruto. Even today, I was watching a reactor, um, before I got up to do this video, I was watching a reactor react to, um, one of my favorite episodes in Naruto, which is, um, Naruto defeats pain, right? Naruto defeats pain and the episode that comes after everything when he made his decision on what he's going to do pain bring back pain brings back the people and everybody is congratulating naruto like that episode always tears me up because just knowing where naruto is coming from um you know what i'm saying that anime always makes that episode always makes me tear up you know what i'm saying it's always tears coming down when i watch that episode because you know, we all would love to have a story like that where, you know, people are always neglecting you. You know what I'm saying? Looking at you like you're an idiot and all of this other stuff, you know, and, you know, growing up, you know, you know, I'm not saying that we all want a story like that, but we all know one of the best stories in life is a story of, of an underdog. And to see him get to that moment, that was Pete Naruto. That was peak Naruto. You know what I'm saying? When everybody finally acknowledged them, everything that the people were saying, especially Kakashi bringing him back, it was it was just awesome. It was just an it was an awesome episode. So anime has had a huge impact. I don't think anime has ever affected me negatively. So yeah, positive. I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've watched a bad anime yet. That's the thing. Like I've had. Don't get me wrong. I've had faults with animes, you know what I'm saying? As much as you hear me say I don't like certain things about, you know, the, the direction of Dragon Ball, you know, story-wise, it's trash. You get what I'm saying? Story-wise, it's trash, okay? Let's just be honest about it. Story-wise, it's trash, <laughs> okay? But for everything else, it's a beautiful anime fighting for my friends, you know, um, beautiful anime, beautiful, well done fighting. We know what it's all about. Powering up all this good stuff. All that stuff is what makes, makes it good enough for me to watch. You get what I'm saying? But story wise, it's trash. Let's just be honest about that. Some of the stuff in it just don't make no sense. And that's, you know, that's not, a, it's a negative about the anime. But at the same time, you enjoy so much other stuff about it that it kind of overshadows, you know what I'm saying? People do not watch Dragon Ball or read the manga because of story. It's one enemy after the next. Who's next? Who are we going to fight next? That's all it is. So there's those story. They're not building up anything other than just powering up, you know what I'm saying? Getting new powers and stuff like that. Like, that's the story, you know? <laughs> 
so um so yeah that's the answer to that question all right next okay somebody foxhound ray was asking are you going to continue hajime no ippo manga read through um yes in short that's coming out on saturday you by the time you're seeing this video it should be out all right so another question from jj if you had to rank every walking dead season you've seen from worst to best how would your list look this is a tough question this is a tough question um probably should have done this before i actually jump on the video but i'm gonna try to do it anyways randomly okay my favorite season of the walking dead still to this day my list would be something like this season two um season two then season three then season one then season five yes then season five seven six four okay now what is it yeah seven six four right so that's the list okay so that's what I have to say about it. I had to go and check to see because I didn't want to say anything wrong because some you might be mixing up that, okay, this happened during this season or whatever. So I had to go and check. Um, so that's it for that. So now you know what that list looked like, JJ. Not a question from JJ. Yes or no to lick. I'll stop. Okay, so... I guess he was going to ask something nasty, but let me go with something simple and ask, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is teal. Um, it's teal. It's basically um, blue green. That's my favorite color. My favorite color is blue green. Um, I have a lot of, I own a lot of stuff that is blue green. Okay. I love that color. I'm trying to find something around me that um, that is blue green. I love the color. Um, I love that color. Um, I don't know. First time I saw it, I just loved it. Fell in love with it. It is what it is. You know, favorite color. All right. This one comes in from Van12. Will you consider watching and reacting to One Piece again in the future? It's really getting hype because it's in the main parts now. Yes, I will be watching One Piece at some point to try and catch up with the anime of the series. Um, I haven't watched anything since the end of the Dressrosa arc, as you guys know. So, and I, I've been, I hear about some stuff that's happening in the manga. Of course, you know, Katakuri versus Luffy. Now I'm hearing that Luffy has went gear five. So it's like, I really do need to catch up. So, um, we'll see, we'll see how things go is, um, I can't promise you a date when I'm going to start doing that, but it will come eventually. Okay. And of course you already know full reactions all the way. All right. Um, so let's do this next question. Do you have an account on anime list? This is from T cube. No, I do not. I want to see your rankings and ratings of all anime you have watched. No, I do not, but I'm considering it because so many people are asking about it now. This one is from van 12. Again, your top five anime biased and unbiased. Give a bit of detail. Okay. <laughs> a bit. I've been talking for an hour now, <laughs> you know, Top five anime. Of course, this is a list that I've talked about before. Um, Naruto, I don't put it at the list. Just know that that's sentimental value. So I don't con I don't put it in my top five because, you know, there's nothing that you can say to me to convince me that Naruto is not the greatest of all time. I've never, I can't look at Naruto objectively. And that's the thing. That's why I took it off the list because I can't, because no matter what you tell me, I'm going to, I'm going to say Naruto is the greatest of all time. You get what I'm saying? So for me, that's just what it is. That's just a personal thing for me. So it's not on the list. Um, okay. So 
my top five of all time bias on um, bias or unbiased it is this right now from what i have watched not from what i've heard about from what i've watched okay it's hajime no hippo code Geass, hunter hunter bleach okay and one piece okay I can't put I can't put Dragon Ball in my in my um it and that is in no particular order by the way. I cannot put Dragon Ball because the only arc in Dragon Ball that I really enjoyed was the Dragon Ball Z arc, which is Goku versus Vegeta, Goku versus Frieza, you know, all that good stuff. Gohan versus Cell you know um goku versus kid boo all is all that good stuff you know what i'm saying majin vegeta you guys know what it is dragon ball z arc fire okay best arc bar none in dragon ball z in dragon ball ever okay story based the only one that that up until dragon ball z made sense everything else after that in my opinion it's not it, it, it's building on the, the the universe but no it's, t it's just terrible but anyways um yeah so that's my top five ippo kogias one piece bleach and hunter hunter okay and that is in no particular order so there you go my top five okay um, even though I have not caught up with One Piece yet, I know it gets better because the, the lore in One Piece, One Piece might go down to be the greatest of all time in, in, in telling a story. <laughs> I mean, seriously. All right. All right. So that's it for questions, guys. Um... Well, it was a good one to end on, right? It was a good one to end on. Anyways, I have to go edit all of this. I've been sitting here for an hour and 20 minutes answering probably around 10 questions. It's crazy. Um, but I appreciate you guys. If I've missed your question, I don't think I missed any because I think I took a snapshot of all the questions that came in and I tried to answer them as elaborately as possible. So hope you guys appreciate what I just did, man. I really... I, what am I saying? You guys are going to appreciate that. Um, don't know if you're going to watch the whole video to catch a question, but it is what it is. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Just want to let you guys know that every time we hit a milestone, I'm going to start doing a QA. and a So think of your questions of what you would want me to answer for you or give you advice on. Um, there's, other, there's other stuff that you can ask me. Don't be shy to ask me anything. I don't care what it is. You know what I mean? I don't care what it is. I'll answer you anything. As long as it's not anything too personal. You get what I'm saying? As long as it's not anything too personal. Like, don't ask me my social security number. Why would I tell you that? <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's just an extreme question to ask anyways. But thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Hope y'all having great days um during this quarantine we're still in quarantine semi-quarantine whatever places are starting to open back up but still be cautious and careful out there guys i really um do appreciate you guys coming and showing love on the channel on to 5k baby let's go i'll see you guys